cards. And, and Sometimes you can. Uh -huh. Basically, you could do this just with what you have on your farm. Yeah. Water, milk. Milk. And, and buy sugar. And buy, buy sugar. Uh -huh. And buy the leaves. Do the children drink it? Yeah. Everybody drinks it? Uh, children age. <laughs> Four and below, they are not allowed to drink tea. Because there's a reason? Four years, three years, they are not allowed to drink tea. Yeah. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, let's say they will sleep their bodies. It will what their bodies? Their bodies will sleep. Oh, the bodies will sleep their bodies. Yeah. So if a child wants tea, you have a small cup of tea, then you put a lot of milk. But when he says, when he have a cup of tea one day, the following day, he must give it. Because he or she knows that he is very sweet. So that's it, I guess, why we're waiting for the tea. If you want to give a description of how you came here and how you got involved with running and, and things like that. Oh. I can start by saying how I started my training. As far back yeah. as you want. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I started my training in the year 2002. I started training in 2002. In Eldoret, Italy, there is a training altitude, high altitude training center in Eldoret. That is uh, 30 kilometers from Eldoret. And what's the elevation? It's a big fire, it's a big fire. It's a long fire now. The, the elevation of the... Of they what? have a lot of hills. The big hills, mountains, and it's calling hills. <laughs> Up and down, you can have a hill walk of two kilometers, running just out for two kilometers or three from down. So I did my training for three years with an aim of running a race and bring up my life and my life for everybody at all. So I did my training for three years, 2005, 2005, and I had a chance to come to United States. That's in my first trip in Texas, Houston. I came to run a 13.1 mile, that is 21 kilometers. In Kenya, we use kilometers, we don't use miles. We use kilometers. So I came around 21 kilometers. I was second place. I stayed for three weeks, then I went back to Kenya for training. But before I came here, I had to train very hard. To keep on training very well, walking extra hard. Because they say, trainer with easy. That is what we do in Kenya. You must train hard, win easy. It's a race. So you trained three years before yeah, I trained three doing years it. before coming to the United States. I will spend one year without going home, just training. And very hard. Very, very hard. hard. Yeah. Where I'm training is very cold. It's an altitude of 8,000 to 10,000, most of 8,000. It's cold. Right? Yeah, very hilly. It's very cold in the morning and in the evening it's very cold. About how many miles a day do you run? A day? Or kilometers a day? Fifteen miles a day. It depends on the training program mm -hmm. because we have a weekly based program. Like uh, on Monday we have to go for one hour thirty minutes, that is equivalent to twenty one kilometers or twenty two, twenty three. Tuesday we have to go for workouts on track. We do workouts which is equivalent to 10 kilometers. Speed work. One a day, we go for the same miles, that is 20, 15 miles. Equivalent that is one hour, 30 minutes. That's a day we have public. Almost public. Church no. Yeah, we know public. Very good. So, yeah, so we have the different types of public. You know one one, 25, 
Um, what do I mean by saying one month and a half? Um, the, is it a mile fast, a mile slow, and then Just a fast? minute. A minute, we don't know, a minute fast and a minute slow. Mm -hmm. 25 times. Or 2 one, 50, mm -hmm. 2 minutes fast, and 1 minute slow. Mm -hmm. now, that's what I mean by saying fast leg. When Benson's saying we, he's referring, Benson directs yes. a, a running camp. Yeah, we, we have running club. He yeah. has 20 yeah. people that he trains that have come to him for training. Yeah, Benson. Uh, Went through his training for three years, and then in 05 began his racing career. And um, along the way, he said, "I want to coach other uh, other athletes." And so he developed a training program, and now he trains 15 to 20 athletes um, doing marathons or half marathons or different levels. And so Benson is the coach and director of the Kenyan running team. And you have to be very serious to get into Benson's school. <laughs> very serious. Also, and discipline. Training in Kenya, one experience a lot of problems. Before excelling, before doing good in a race. First thing, uh, facilities for training. It's very difficult to get facilities for training. Let's say, for example, a shoes. Very difficult to get for somebody who's beginning to train. He or she must have money to buy shoes and not uh, running kits. Another thing also is for food. You need to have food in your room, your house, wherever you stay for daily. Because you don't train without food. You must eat well and to train well. Could you talk about how, the, how you know, the, just the struggles and challenges of getting food to the camp and all that? I think that's really important for people to yes. understand. When you are in a group of three to four people, then you have to organize yourself on how to get food. You may decide one person must go every, every month to bring food and in time. So when the month ends, Somebody calls home, go and get some food, a little food, you or she can get, bring it to the house or the camp. You share it until it's finished, the next person will go home. And it's difficult, sometimes it's very difficult to get food from home. You may go home, you find there's no food, then there's another problem affecting some training. So do you sometimes, because you talked about that a little bit more this morning with the running um, team from the Opportunity Enterprises, and I mean, it sounded like sometimes you, you're, you're training and people really haven't eaten properly because there's just no food. Yes. I remember myself, there was a day I slept without eating food anything. But you still day, train. Yeah. The following day, I was trying my best. And though I was very angry, I had to push very hard. But nobody knew I was very angry. I didn't tell anyone. But I was happy, I could leave, I could leave the other guys behind who ate a lot of food yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so, some, some athletes do sleep without food or some very little food they have. Oh, that's another problem. Those are part of challenges in training. And one needs to learn how to cope with them. And then there's problems getting visas. Also, getting visas also is another problem. You love to travel to Europe several times. You love to have all documents needed. Have you done that one document? You don't have to go back. And you might record the very first step. Six hours from when you're training, like me. Uh, it's six hours to Nairobi, my capital city, where I coach members. So it takes me six hours to get there. 